today we will study pericardial effusion starting from definition abnormal accumulation of fluid in pericardium due to underlying inflammation of pericardium may be serous fibrinous hemorrhagic or prurent causes infectious number one cause is bacterial streptococcus streptococcus or haemophilus viral causes are cytomegalovirus or coxsackie virus or tuberculosis Inflammatory causes are rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatic fever, or polyarthritis nodosa. Other causes are uremia, post malignancy, and trauma. Clinical features is chest pain, dyspnea, cough, cool small sign, that is ascension of neck veins and deep inspiration, fever, lightheadedness, oliguria, compression of adjacent structures that will lead to dysphagia, hoarseness, and hiccups. Investigations, general investigation, ask in history about post MI, renal failure, tuberculosis, past medical surgical history. On inspection, you can appreciate cyanosis and edema on palpation, apical impulse is undetectable, percussion note is dull, and auscultation, muffled heart sounds or frictional drop. Pulse will be compared with other lamps, blood pressure shows hypertension, the MR the JVP, pulses paradoxes decrease in the blood pressure on inspiration, and respiratory rate is increased. ECG shows low voltage, chest x-ray shows globular appearance that is increased signs of cardiac cell house, echo is definitive and pericardial sensors show sent fluid to rule out of. Diagnosis is based on PEX tried 3 weeks, decreased pulse pressure, decreased heart sounds, distended neck veins. Management, general management is symptomatic, manage the pain with the help of NSAIDs, decrease the inflammation with the help of NSAIDs and aspirin. Specific treatment is pericardial sensors, surgical drainage, and treat the underlying cause. Complications can develop like arrhythmia, bleeding, injury to the coronary artery, and cardiac tamponade. Scenario A 38 year old male, a uh, couple of days of chest pain, develops severe dyspnea and cough on decent deep inspiration, neck veins are distended, and ECG is low voltage. Thanks for watching.